All the major markets are testing their upper band since the first major hump in the 90s and we can see that in Dow Jones and now it's testing its upper band so is the S&P testing its upper band and Nasdaq with the first hump in the 90s and now it's testing its upper band and Russell has reached its second hump in fact during the 2022 and now it's on the way down and though Russell is the least known among the four but it is the leading indicator of the other three why is that so? In Russell 2000, there are 2,000 mid-sized listed companies. And I believe they are also employing the largest workforce in the United States. Meaning, their employees are also the mass consumer using or buying those products or services listed in NASDAQ, S&P and Dow Jones. And when Russell is not doing well, the mass consumer will not spend as much and the rest of the indices will subsequently follow. My name is Kon Hao, my rule in this channel as always is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And I will first discuss how to draw parallel channel using the example on Russell and Dow Jones and later we will try to apply the same techniques for the shorter term in Dow Jones and let's look at an example in Russell and let me just clear this uh, parallel line that we're seeing here now first there are two rules in drawing the uh, classic uptrend line is on the uptrend this is obvious an uptrend we have to look for trough and this is what i seen. First, we have to identify at least uh, one significant drop. Then the second rule is that we try to uh, connect the dots together with all these significant points. And when I say significant points, I'm referring to the open, high, low, close. And I would say that I'm pretty satisfied with this. Why? Because uh, this was the low and this is the closing. So I have two points here. And this is the third point here. And what I'm going to do here to qualify if this is a classic uptrend line, what I do is I'm going to do a clone, which is you can call it a, a channel line. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to string it a little bit uh, further. And I know just now I mentioned about the, uh, the hump, the first hump during the 90s, but I felt that uh, this is a newer indices among the uh, four of them. And it started registering in 1987. And I felt that it was a psychologically uh, important point. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to place this here. Remember that this is the uptrend line I've drawn. And I could see that uh, based on the starting point here, and there's a good relationship that in 2021, you have reached the peak. And now I believe for Russell is on the way down. And later on, I'm going to explain to you the fundamental reason why is it so. And Russell is leading the pack, which I explained to you earlier. Why is it so? And let's apply the same technique to uh, Dow Jones. And this time around, I'm going to do a little bit of unorthodox method where usually I do not use, but uh, since I know that there's parallel line, and let me just do that. And sometimes I use that. And the uh, the first, I'm going to draw all these uh, upper band. Now, earlier I did mention that the rule of drawing uh, a channel, uptrend channel, is that we have to focus on the trough. But now I'm doing a, the other dogs method. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to reverse it. And I'm going to do this. Uh, sometimes it just save me a bit of time here. And I'm just going to find... Uh, the first point I should use that we should be using the trough, but now I'm using the top. So I mirror it and I do some, I do see some relationship here and I see a few points of uh, the low here, one point, two point, three points. And, and if I'm going to parallel this, uh, I'm going to see this very nice uptrend channel where I would really encourage you to uh, practice on your own to try that in the um, S&P and NASDAQ. You should get uh, very similar reading that what I'm I'm using it. So it means that I believe that the first the Russell will move and followed by the Dow Jones 
and then which is coming down and then followed by Nasdaq and then oh, sorry S&P and lastly the Nasdaq and there are reasons some fundamental reason why market has already turned downwards led by Russia and the rest I believe will subsequently follow and my previous video I explained to you why is it so because it seems like there's some sign of stagflation stagflation is a slow economy that we saw that the quarter to quarter GDP is downwards looking and the inflation is still very uncertain there's a tendency that is pointing upwards so when inflation and GDP happen uh, in this manner uh, we are potentially entering the stagflation and fundamental reason and there's so many reason uh, last week the video we explained about t-bonds moving downwards inflation seems like tilting upwards and the yield curve has been inverted by two years by now so and what is the strategy my strategy is that for Russell um, since already turned downwards I'm prepared to continue to focus and uh, look at sell on strength and for Dow Jones uh, later on we're going to apply what we have learned earlier on the shorter term time frame which I'm testing right now to sell into strength I'm testing right now which I believe that S&P and Nasdaq will subsequently follow and let's look at the Dow Jones on the, this daily chart now we're going to apply what we learned earlier onto this daily chart now I'm seeing that there's this trough this upward trend here and I'm going to draw uh, first you have to find a point and you connect the dots together the first rule is that you have to find at least three significant trough and you connect them together and I and I saw at least uh, three of them one two three and what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to parallel this there's a channel and you can see that it's uh, behaving really nice so I know that this is a classic uptrend line and something else I'm going to do here is that I'm going to look into the study into the past relationship and see that uh, is this relationship true uh, and I'm seeing a lot of uh, data here and it reacted pretty well on the uh, peak in the past just based on this uptrend line so my reading is is this is that this it means that this is a very classic uptrend line where during the April period it has already broken down and I'm suspecting this that it seems to me that the Dow Jones is already doing a double top and of course I do encourage you to use other indicators if you are into divergence definitely I'm seeing some divergence here if you are doing volume analysis go ahead to use it I'm seeing uh, some um, uh, information on the volume and price analysis as well my strategy again is that for Russell is really turning down is sell on strength and Dow Jones I am testing to sell on strength and that's what I mean here which I think is coming off the next few days and then for the S&P and Nasdaq I will not go against the trend uh, since it's still, the craze is still on my focus is to buy on dips and I hope that now you're seeing this is that the market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.